Welcome to the Intellios Examination System tutorial. Our goal is to help you feel comfortable with the examination system prior to your exam date. This tutorial contains instructions and sample questions to be used as illustrations of what you may see on your ARDMS or APCA examination. To have a successful exam, we have thought of a few helpful tips. First, to ensure you understand the exam process, please read and follow all of the examination instructions carefully. Second, your exam may contain videos and images. It is important that you can view these clearly. There will be an image on your first screen with four birds. Please make sure that you can see all of the birds. If you're unable to see all four birds, please notify the examination center administrator. Each examination center will have a center administrator to help you with any concerns you might have. Simply raise your hand. They can adjust the contrast and brightness of your screen. They can note any concerns about the examination experience or specific concerns about the examination questions. You will also have an opportunity to note any concerns about specific examination questions on your exit survey. Please make sure to include the question number from the upper right-hand corner of your screen on your survey. I would like to take a few minutes to orient you to the examination program and the different tools available on each screen. The upper left corner of each page will contain a notes button. Clicking on this button will open a text box in which you can make notations about the current question you are viewing. You will be able to view these notes anytime during your exam. These notes are for your use only. They will be deleted when you finish the exam and Intellio staff will not be able to see your notes. The next tool I want to discuss is the time clock and progress tracker. In the upper right hand corner, you can see how much time you have remaining by viewing the time clock. You can also see the current question number and total number of questions remaining by viewing the question remaining display. As a reminder, on your exit survey, please include the question number for specific concerns. You do have the option to hide and restore the time clock and question remaining display by clicking on the icons at any time. However, five minutes before the end of the exam, you will no longer be able to hide the time clock. The next and previous buttons on the bottom of this screen will be available throughout the exam. The next button moves the exam one screen forward the previous button moves the exam back one screen. To select your answer, use your mouse to click the radio button. A word of caution, multiple clicks around the screen may result in selecting a response that you did not intend. Before moving to the next screen, please ensure the correct radio button is selected. For all exam questions, you can click the flag for review button in the upper right corner to flag a question. This will allow you to mark questions for your own review throughout the exam. When the flag image is filled, the question has been marked. If you wish to unflag the question, click the flag button again and the image will clear. Questions may be selected for review whether you have answered them or not. However, the questions can only be reviewed during your allotted examination time. To view the questions that you have flagged, Click on the review button in the lower right corner. This screen will allow you to see the question number, status, flag, and any notes you have added. Some questions may not entirely fit on the screen. In such cases, you may use the scroll bar that appears along the right side of the screen to scroll and review the rest of the question. If a question contains video content, be certain to watch the entire video. Important information may be contained in the middle or at the end of the clip. There are no sounds in any examination video. To play the video, click the play button. The video plays on a continuous loop. You can also pause the video by clicking the pause button. Click the play button to resume play. When you are finished viewing the video, click the stop button or click the next button to move to the next question. When you have reached the last question in the examination, press the next button and you will be taken to the final review screen. The review screen will show you all of your examination questions with the options to review all, review incomplete, 
or review flagged questions. After selecting one of these options, to return to the review screen, please click on the review screen button in the lower left corner. You can also select or deselect additional questions to be flagged by clicking on the flag image next to an item number. When you have completed your review, please click the end review button on the lower left of the screen to exit the review. Once you click the end review button, you will have two reminder warning pop-up windows to confirm that you have completed your exam. Once you have moved through these two pop-up windows, there will be a final exam page and an end exam button in the left-hand corner. Once this button is clicked, you have submitted your completed exam. Congratulations. This concludes the Intellios Examination System tutorial. We wish you well on your exam. For additional tutorial videos, please visit the Intellios website at www.intellios.org.